Welcome everyone. Today we'll be covering coding questions asked by Amazon part one. In today's episode, we will cover the find the triplets algorithm that Amazon asks on their coding interviews. I will explain it line by line and give the full solution, but you can also look at this like an exercise and try to do it yourself first. So let's get started. Okay, let's first present the problem. So the problem is called count triplets. Given an array of distinct integers, the task is to count all the triplets such that sum of two elements equal to the third element. Example, so we take the first element from the array, add it to the second and it equals third. Um, the order doesn't matter, so it can be fifth and first equal the third. So the order doesn't matter, we just have to find three numbers that give us the solution to this equation. If such triplets exist, we should return their number, so number of those triplets, and if not, just return minus 1. So example input, we have an array of integers 1, 5, 3, 2, and the output is 2 because 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Let's now go over the approach. So. Let's first take the first element and then every other element and compare them, add them together and see what we get. So this is what our array looks like. We take the first element and we compare it to our other elements, 3, 5 and 2. We add them up because we have to know the sum and this is what we get. So we get 4, 6 and 3 and then we compare the sum to our array. And we can clearly see that the only elements that match this is 3, because 1 plus 2 is 3, and we have 3 in our array. Okay, now, now we know how we should go over this, and let's continue to the next step. So if we get the matching number, we just increment our counter by 1. And then we go to the next step. What What is the next step? We should repeat all that for our other elements by using a for loop but we shouldn't include the elements before this one because we already counted them and you might ask how but this way we don't double count because 1 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 are the same so if we already checked 1 and 2 there's no reason to check 2 and 1 and that's the basic idea of this algorithm and now let's jump jump in the code Okay, we're here in our editor and I've got the code set up for you. Hopefully you tried it yourself and now you can compare the results, but if you haven't, don't worry, I got you covered. I've tried to make it simple and understandable, so let's get started. We're in our Eclipse and let's start by defining the method. So what do we have to do? We have to return an integer of our triplets so that's why we set the counter of our triplets here and now remember what i was saying so we should start by taking every element and compare it to every single other element that's why we have the for loop over here so we start from the number zero and we go all the way up to array length minus one the reason we go minus one is because the last element is already checked so if you take the first element take the second and third you already compare it to the last element and that's why we don't need to compare the last element and we don't have anything to compare it to because it's the last element and then after we picked the first element we go in another loop and we pick every other element so we don't want that element and we don't want the elements before that's why we put j is i plus one because we ignore all the other elements and we ignore that element and we start the loop so we calculate the sum over here we take so we take this element and sum it up with every other element we sum it up in here and then we go in another loop where we check 
all the elements in our array and see if they match. And if the sum is equal to any of those elements, we increase the counter. Because, as you remember, that's what our algorithm is supposed to be doing. And after we exit this loop, we exit this loop and then we come back here. And then we take the second element. So I will be 1, J will be 2, and we repeat the process. So we compare every other element, we calculate the sum, we check if it's in there, and so on, so on. And then we get to the last element check it and the reason the minus one is here as you remember is because we don't care about the last element as it has already been prepared so i've got some examples here and this is our return statement so if counter is different than zero we should return the counter and if it is zero we should return minus one so i've got some examples here in main as you can see, this is our test example, and this is something I made up, that matter. So let's run the program and explain. The reason 2 is here is because 1 plus 2 are 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5. And the reason uh, 5 is out here is because 1 and 2 give 3, 1 and 6 give 7, 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 2 plus 5 is 7. And that is it for today's video. This is the first part of our algorithm series. More videos like this will come soon, so stay tuned. You can find the code on GitHub, and I encourage you to try to come up with a different solution and practice, and maybe one day you will work at Amazon or Google. See you guys in the next video. Bye!